Hi everyone, this is Isa from Printstick in another tutorial and this time I want to show you what I think is the easiest way to use other fonts in GoodNotes. I don't know why I didn't come up with this before because it seems so obvious but just in case you didn't know, I am going to show you. So what you will do is open Safari go to fontsquirrel.com and I know that there are other websites that do this but I think this is the easiest one and it has so many fonts here so just search for a font that you would like to use for example we can look for some script and then scroll and, and find one that you would like for example I like this courgette one click there and now, this is the part I didn't know about, but you can install this directly on your iPad. I tried that before and it works perfectly. So if you click there, and then it's gonna ask you for, you know, just to click continue, enter your password. But once you're done, you can use that font on any app such as a Vectornator or Graphic, which I have right here, the way that will work. Once the font is installed, you can just click on text. This is the previous font that I installed and then just write your uh, text and choose the font that you have just downloaded. And then from here you can just copy and paste in GoodNotes, which I have another video where I show how to do this in more depth. But today what I want to show you, well first of all I click here where it says license and just take a look at what you can do with this font. Usually they're uh, free for personal and commercial use. I think that all of us would mostly be using them for personal use. But take a look at this just in case. And okay, so then click on where it says test drive. And this is the font part. You will just tap here on this... Um, empty space and write your word for example if I want to say Monday and then I can see the word in that font then I will just take a screenshot and you can just tap on the screenshot to crop it right here done save to photos you can also crop directly from good notes but you know it's an easy way so this is the font that I was using before to make this new like style of like traveler's notebook uh, planning kind of thing. I really liked it. So tap and hold on the screen, select image, photos, and find your title. And then it has a white background, but if you know if you're using it on a page like this i don't think it matters too much even if the page is dotted you can't really tell you can always tap and hold on the image select edit tap again crop freehand and go around you know with your pencil to make it more exact you will get rid of more white if you do this hit done and then as you can see there is just less background there's even like an outline that could look nice on another color but yeah and you can also use your magic eraser app to delete the white background but honestly i feel like this is just a really quick way of adding nice titles to your planner page and that's it guys, I hope that you found this as quick and easy and useful as I did. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified whenever I upload another tutorial and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.